today from Orchard Park, New York. This is Madden NFL 21 on EA Sports. We'll see Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills taking on Phillip Rivers and the Indianapolis Colts. From the home of the Bills since way back in 1973, there's a look at Bills Stadium just outside of Buffalo, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Indianapolis Colts. And we are underway in Buffalo. And this carries into the end zone. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Colts ready to go to work here offensively. And it is Phillip Rivers, their veteran quarterback and longtime charger, who will be under center. One way you become the all-time leading passer for your team is pure talent. And Phillip Rivers has plenty of that. But it's also dedication to your craft and the willingness to get better all the time. Philip Rivers has a van set up with a driver so that when he goes to and from practice, he's able to watch tape and find ways to improve his mechanics each and every day. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. He's tackled at the but you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here, second and a yard from the 34. Now it's Hines. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first down, it's Hines, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Hines, the ball carrier. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second and seven at the 40-yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll try to throw here. Rivers. He's got his target. That's Zach Pascal. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First down, Colts. They run the counter. Hines. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Somebody's looking fresh, and this O-line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. Eight yards, the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Pick it up. 
Running the sweep, Hilton with it. Oh, good move by T.Y. Hilton. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 39 yards there, a big one. Well, you talk about catching a defense off guard. They were not expecting jet sweep at all there. Well, he was 10 yards downfield before the defense even knew what hit him. So a really good play call against a defense that was set up for them to gain big yardage. And how about how they executed the handoff there? That means they spent some time with the wide receivers taking handoffs from the quarterbacks. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. This is Hines, and he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. Second down and goal, Rivers. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. A.J. Klein charging hard for that linebacker spot, and he drops him for a loss of 11. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack, but he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. What a stand this would be if they can get the stop here. Third and goal. Rivers now. And the pressure gets to him again. And Oliver that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. Rodrigo Blankenship for the Colts field goal. Missed from 44 yards out. Left hash. Blankenship's kick is good. And the Colts hit the scoreboard first. It's 3-0. 3, nothing. Bills nothing. So the opening drive does yield points. Maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Rigoberto Sanchez. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And able to get this out to the 25. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. How about 54 touchdown passes in two full seasons at the University of Wyoming, coming out of a junior college? I think he exceeded expectations, and he can move it around a little bit too. A much better athlete than people give him credit for. Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. It's brought in complete. It's John Brown. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. At the 33-yard line. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Bites it, bites it. 
The play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen rolling to his right. He's going to take off with it. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Man open left side is Brown. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's Allen to throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. You know, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Well, there's an example of patience being rewarded. Ran the ball on first down and got stuffed. Most people would scream, throw the ball here in this situation. They stayed with their roots, stayed with running the football, and they got rewarded. going to try and throw on third down. The Colts D sticking to their assignments, and that brings up fourth. Intended for Devin Singletary. In pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. Remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck roll that they can fall back on anymore. Tyler Bass out for the Bills field goal. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. And it is good. Oh, that one looked to be in trouble the whole way, but it does get over the bar. And the Bills are going to tie the game at three. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. Each team with a field goal as the kick is away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Colts take over first and 10. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. And maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. Here's a handoff to Hines to begin the drive. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. So the 
opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now an option play on second down. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. Now a hit, and Rivers lost the football. And Oliver. Phillip Rivers sack. Fumble on the play. Offensively lucky they're able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. To punt on fourth down, here's Rigoberto Sanchez. Andre Roberts is deep for Buffalo. Able to avoid him at the 40. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Allen with a throw caught by Beasley, and he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Allen going to throw. He's going to take off with it. They'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. They run the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to it, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. From the 28, it's second and five. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And Beasley with it over the middle. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. But oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go-around ends in six. 
In good position, first and ten. Allen hit. He lost the football. And I believe the Colts have recovered. Yes, they have. Buckner. Phillip Rivers sacked. Fumble on the play. Recovered by Indianapolis. come to the line ready to start their next drive and on the last go around they really couldn't get anything going they had to punt from deep inside their own territory which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule what they're looking for now is a little more consistency move the ball at least a few times on offense get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field yeah just something to build off of that's what they're looking for here three three a tight one after one on ea sports the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They run with Hines. Room here to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. This is a little bit like baseball here. Strong up the middle. Both sides want to be that. In this case, the offense ends up winning the ultimate battle. And those big runs between the tackles, that's a little deflating for a defense, isn't it? It really is because that's where your strength's supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a spot where they can't make that yardage there. You're supposed to send them outside. Not in this case. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Hines. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. Hines, the well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. From the gun, Rivers. They'll find Hines out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Colts first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. A pickup of five that time and a first down. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did... I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Ball Back, up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Hines on the toss play. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Yeah, it's a four-yard loss. Really sets him back now for second down. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter.
So still 14 yards to go, second down. Throwing Rivers, finding Hilton on the slant. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 15-yard line. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Now remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. A man coming off back-to-back 2,000-yard -back seasons. Here's Jonathan Taylor with it. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. Brings up second and two at the seven-yard line. Second and two, first down marker at the five-yard line. They'll try the left side. It's Hines. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working, but how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. Search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. on for the field goal. A 27-yard attempt. Blankenship's kick is good. And the Colts hit the scoreboard first. It's 3-0. Six. Bills three. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Andre Roberts now to return it. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25 yard line. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field and to come away with nothing. That's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll drop to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. Tackle made. Back the pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Here's Zach Moss, Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Year a season ago. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. 
There was a little space there, yes, but that was a well-executed run by the rookie. It was, and he wasn't one of the higher-rated rookie running backs coming out. He's probably on the next tier. But let me tell you something. If he becomes more consistent and continues to have that drive to be one of the best, we'll see more of that in the future. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. 58 to Mike, 58, 58 to Mike. Get ready, get ready. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Throwing on second and eight, Allen. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Kari Billis on the tackle. Brings up third down. For the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. From the gun, it's Allen on the move. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. In on the sack, the former Buckeye, Tyquan Lewis. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Fourth down on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach is talking. Now a hit, and Rivers lost the football. And I do believe the offense got this back. Goodness, they did. Their own one-yard line is where they got it back, cutting it close here. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense gotten it, they were already within a shadow of the goalposts. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. And he'll give it here to his running back. Fights him off. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he will have the first down as he's up to his 17-yard line. Give him two yards on that play, and it's going to yield a new set of downs. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10.
Now a give right side. Hines, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker, was the one disrupting there defensively. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped, but what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. for the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. It's a gain of a yard, and it takes us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez standing just outside his own goal line. Here now Roberts. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Buffalo offense and Devin Singletary heading back out there. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement down on the scoreboard. Maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at a first down. I know you're trying not to scoreboard watch, but you only got three points. You're kind of hoping that that type of play there gives you some positive momentum going into the half. Yeah, I need to do something to get more than that three number that they have on the scoreboard right now. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Operating from the gun. Allen over the middle here to Brown. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back at the 24. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. <laughs> Another try after the first down sack. Allen, his throw caught at about the five. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A nice gain of 21 yards. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you could forget. Not only his first catch, first time they targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Because those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. They'll look to run with Singletary. And he takes it in across the chart for a Bills touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Bills have retaken the lead. That could be an important.
important swing right there. Touchdown of the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. A try here for the extra point. Got it as the lead is now 10-6. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. To the touchdown bass to kick it away. Rodgers on the return. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own. 30. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Rivers on first down. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. He's got Jack Doyle. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. From the gun, Rivers. That's complete to Hines out of the backfield. Now whistles in a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. Final play of the half, Rivers. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half from the mobile big man quarterback, Josh Allen. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. with the lead and they'll get the football first. 
watched as the second half is underway. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 28. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. The third quarter starts with a run by Singletary. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Operating from the gun. Allen. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Brought down. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball got super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. From the gun, Allen. Over the middle, complete. It's Brown. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32 and obviously well short of the first down. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Send the punter out as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. It's taken to the 26. Holding the seeding team. Hey, we don't need no more penalties right here. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Rivers going to bring the Colts up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Going to give this time to the tailback. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. And sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". So from the 36 now, first and 10. Operating from the gun, Rivers. That's into the hands of Pascal. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Second and six at the 40-yard line. From the gun, Rivers. A good throw here, finding Pascal. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Throwing Rivers. And he's going to be 
swallowed up. Sack back at the 45-yard line. That sack by Tremaine Edmonds. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Draw play. This is Hines. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. It'll be a gain of about five, but they're left with a third and still about 12 to go. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Third down, a nickel formation here defensively. <laughs> Operating from the gun, Rivers. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Jerry Hughes in there to record another sack, and that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. And good hustle here as this is going to be blown dead right at the nine yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. On first down, Allen. He's got the hook up to John Brown on the right side. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. They'll run on first down with Moss. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Nice, satisfying run on first down for the offense. Pick it up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic. But at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Allen off the play fake. Sliding out of the pocket. And now he's going to use his legs. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. But to me, this leads to the question, do you admire the way he puts his body out there all the time, or do you think he should protect himself a little bit more? <laughs> well, he's been on the ground several times with all those sacks that he's taken. So, I don't know, I kind of admire him not sliding down there, don't you? I'm with you on that one. The meter definitely leans towards admiration. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Singletary here running out of the gun. Yeah, he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. Deep. 
offense. Let's go, Jesus. And now they'll throw with Allen. He'll buy some time right. He'll try and run it. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he takes it all the way down to the 22. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. So he wanted to pass it, but that thing turned out much better. And the crowd really responded, didn't they? They always like it better when the quarterback is scrambling around. Actually takes off and runs downfield. And that's exactly what he did. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Singletary again. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Throwing his Allen on third. Escaping the press. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Danico Autry picks up his second sack of the afternoon. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game. The way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13-6. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays. Yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. At their own 26. Indy set to go on offense once more. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Rivers and the Colts going to come up first and 10 at their own 26. They'll start with the option. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now, is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. They run again with Hines. Able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. 
Well, if you like the guys who run the ball, you're enjoying watching this. But the other guys, especially the defense coordinator, trying to figure out an answer on how to slow down the running game, I think maybe starts to call more blitzes because you can call run blitzes in order to try and get more people to the point of attack. On third down, it's Hines. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. A loss of a yard. Brings up fourth down. That's the end of the third quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. To return is Roberts. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. He'll set up the throw from the gun. And he finds Tyler Croft. Seven yards to pick up there. To Tyler Croft. A seven-yard pick. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They will run with Singletary. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Throwing on first down is Allen. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read. Better execution and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. So the shotgun snapped to Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, balls delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. The Bills on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and 8. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. For Dawson Knox, incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. 
The Bills send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the second time. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. River's going to bring the Colts up first and 10 at their own 16. And he'll drop here to throw. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Phillip Rivers sack. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Second and 15 following that sack. Another try after the first down sack. Rivers throws this one right side to Pascal. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 27 yards there, a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hines. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Looking to throw again on second down. Rivers. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Down Bills. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 20. 
Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And we'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. Rivers and the Colts going to come up first and 10 at their own 22. Back to it after the pick six. Rivers, T.Y. Hilton, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. Throwing again. Rivers. And he comes back with one complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. Rivers now to throw on first down. Take it in by Pascal out left. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? now from the 50. Taken in by the tight end, Doyle. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling him almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing again on second down. Rivers. Zach Paschal, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. The Colts on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This will be third and six. Middle of the field to the tight end, Doyle. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Again, it's Rivers. Now a hit, and Rivers lost the football. Jerry Hughes. Rivers sacked. Fortunate to get that football back, because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity, because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. 58, Working out of the gun, Rivers. The toss here completed to Pittman. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running
running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. From the gun, Rivers. And that will be incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Desperation time, Rivers on fourth down. He's gonna let this go, back of the end zone. And nothing but daylight ahead. 20, and he is gonna score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Down, Bills. Little choice, Charles, but to go for it right there, and that pick six will be the icing on the cake. Yeah, you don't know how many more possessions you're going to get, so really, you're almost at the point of no option. Have to go for it. Bottom line, though, is defenders know that as well. They know you've got to throw the football. Had the right defense call, it will make a nice play on the ball, and that's all she wrote. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. On the return. The Colts take over first and 10. At their own. A look at the running back. The man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He is knocking on the door for 100 yards in this ball game. And it's so important. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Just short of it, a little bit over. A little bit over feels better to everyone. Offensive line, running back, team totals. Just something magical about breaking that barrier. Now he's right there on the doorstep now. River's going to bring the Colts up first and 10 at their own 27. Throwing after the interception. Rivers, he'll get this one to Pittman. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time, down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, Rivers looking middle, and it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. to throw again. Rivers, middle of the field, he finds Pascal, and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now, because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. On first and 10, Rivers finding Hilton on the slant. 
And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Rivers on first down. Caught left side by Hilton. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Michael Pittman that time. And now it's second down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Rivers. That is caught at the seven. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. The passing game for the Colts finding its stride. Another first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Operating from the gun, Rivers. This will be caught at about the six. Rivers and he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. On play action, Rivers. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Jack Doyle. Jack Doyle there to make the grab. And the Colts are able to draw a bit closer. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. And he's got it to make it 27-13. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And it culminates in an Indianapolis touchdown. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. They'll run on first down. It's Moss. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout called here. Not sure of the point of this, but they'll stop it with four seconds to go in the game.
after the loss to start out. Here's second and 11. They'll go again here with Moss. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory.